let's create one more validation rule and this time the requirement is this whenever you create a new opportunity okay if the type is new customer remember the new customer always come from the website so if the type is new customer and the lead source if it is let's say phone inquiry error if it is a new customer it should always come from web not from phone you got it so just to make it simple as of now i will check if the type is equal to new customer and if the lead source is equal to phone inquiry error if not you can save it how do i do it let's go to the same opportunity page uh, this is my last validation tool i'm going to go and cancel it and let's let just click on uh, inactive okay let's just uh, make the existing validation tool inactive or else this will create a problem okay and let's create a new validation tool and give a name um new customer should come from web right so what i have to check here i have to check two thing if the type is new customer and at the same time if the lead source is own inquiry then error if it is web then no error how do you do this you have to use here same and select and click insert inside and what will be the logics yeah first logic is i have to check what is the type uh, if the type is equal to new customer how do i check we have already learned the is pick val in the last video so i'm going to go and use the same is pick val where over here so select this click on this first then you click on this button so i'm checking if is pick val and what will be the field name uh, type please go and check what is the field name of type i'm going to go here and uh, duplicate this tab okay not closed it go to opportunity manager select opportunity here go to fields and relationship and type here e y p e just check what is the field name it is type only okay so control c i'm just copying this type and uh, putting it here control v and what will be the value value should be always inside this single quote right the value let me copy this you also copy this value because any wrong spelling that you give it not going to work right so if the value is new customer if the type is new customer yeah and uh, and what else comma one more condition i have to check right next condition is what if the type is new customer and the lead source is a phone inquiry then error okay so go to the same opportunity and go to the field and relationship and type here uh, what is the field name lead source okay if you type here source this is the lead source field and that's the field name lead without space source i've just copied this and uh, use the same is big val okay i'll use the same is big val here and uh, i'm gonna use this lead source control c instead of type replace with lead source and what will be the value of lead source again copy it from here if the lead source is let's say phone inquiry then error message right so i have copied the phone inquiry and i'm going to paste it over here now ignore the spelling last time i checked the yep i have ignored the spelling so red red color uh, underline was gone right so now um, in this and right uh, you make sure you write the formula in this way because when your formula become like big it's very difficult to understand now if you write in the same order right it's very easy for you to understand so i have started my and function here starting here closing here i started is big well from here closing here this is big well closing here check the syntax 
everything look good right give a error message error message should be uh, same error message right so new customer should be new customer should come from web right that's my error message and i'm going to give this to uh, below the field called lead source yep lead source save so my formula is ready uh, my validation rule will check if it is while, while creating right uh, i'm not selecting i'm not giving here is new by the way so this is going to going to be checked in whenever you create a new record or whenever you edit a new record you get it i'm not using here is new function so this validation will fire every time when you create or edit okay so let me create a new record see i'm creating a new record and giving stage type is new customer and i'm giving source as phone in query if my validation rule is correct i'm gonna get an error message sorry not this one give a test name click on save this is the error message see here if you go to lead source i got the error message new customer should come from web okay and if i click on web there's no problem right but the problem is this because i did not use is new if i click on this edit button and if i make phone in query again i'm gonna get the same error why because i'm not checking these new right so every time when you create when you update the same validation rule will fire and it will get give you give you the error message now my requirement was if it is a new customer it has to be only web but if you see here if i use partner referral then i can save it if i use other or purchase list i can save it but what was my requirement my requirement is if the type is new customer it has to be only web got it how do you do this here in my validation rule i'm checking and if the type is new customer and if the uh, lead source is phone inquiry i should be checking here if the lead source is phone inquiry or uh, what is the other value or partner referral or other or purchase list then error you get it right anything apart from web is selected error message how do you do this so you have to give you have to use here or function so i'm gonna use here or i have typed it down or just gonna start the bracket start the bracket here and, and in the inside the or this is my first conditions i'm gonna go and copy the same thing Control c comma enter you now try to maintain the validation rule in this way okay so give the space and start from here again comma i have three values to check right let me just copy and paste it first now this is easy to understand right if you write everything in one single line that's very difficult so i'm checking here if is if the type is new customer and uh, if the lead source is phone inquiry or I'm going to copy the second one called partner referral control V copy the third one called purchase list control V and the others O T H E R S. I think others or other other no S right. Oh. Okay. Now this is a validation rule which will check if the lead source is anything apart from the web i mean if it is others purchase list partner referral or inquiry you're gonna get the error just quickly check the syntax i think the syntax is uh, so i got a problem here so i told you right most of the time you get the problem when uh, you forgot to give a bracket or you give some extra bracket okay let me quickly uh, fix this bracket issue and you also please follow me up okay so my first bracket if you see here start with the last bracket okay see this this bracket is a closing here opening here so there's no problem this bracket is closing here opening here no problem this bracket is closing here opening here and this 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 okay now check this for 
and and for or there should be there should be two bracket closing correct one for and one for or but if you see here i have only one bracket this bracket is for the is pick well this bracket is for or what about the and bracket you're getting me what about this bracket so i have to add one more bracket i don't know how do you check but this is how i check okay uh, i always check from the last and you know i see like okay this is the closing one that's the opening one so where is the last one right so you somehow uh, try to identify the brackets thing because i have seen sometimes the uh, the validation rule looks very big right it, it you might have to use like 10 15 is big val and the rule become like very very big right in this case if you don't write the rule in this fashion right and if you don't write the brackets if you don't check the bracket properly you're gonna get the syntax error so make sure you write see i have written the spec well in the same line right in the same order so i can understand okay inside the or i have one two three four okay so instead of writing same thing in the same line use the a proper space and proper uh, line break and always check the brackets okay so i've given one extra bracket i think everything is fine just gonna go and save it and now if you see here i if i if i create or edit the opportunity with type is equal to new customer and lead source as phone inquiry error okay lead source as partner referral save error lead source as a purchase list save again error lead source as other save again error and i'm gonna go and make lead source as web save no error you get it this is how um, i mean here the problem is now you cannot check you cannot do like you know in coding how we do if type is new customer and lead source not is equal to right you don't have the not equals to things you have to always give like all the values and keep checking in the or conditions all right i hope these conditions and the validation rule is very much clear a request to you please type in this uh, validation rule and the way i have tested you please go and test the validation rule once you create it okay once you create it please go and test the validation rule this will give you a clear idea how to create a validation rule and how it works all right thank you see you in the next video